Does Mark Zuckerberg have a cryptocurrency that he's telling nobody about? Today we're doing a deep dive into Aptos and the relationship with Meta and more. All right, everybody, welcome back to another altcoin review. Today we're going to be talking about Aptos, as I said in the intro. And as you can see, I'm not at my normal setup today. I'm just on my laptop and I got my camera right here. So, yeah, we're just going to run up from here. So, first of all, what is Aptos? So, let's get it straight from Coin Market Cap. Aptos is a layer one proof of stake blockchain. So, it's your classic, you know, layer one proof of stake blockchain. That employs a novel smart contract programming language called Move, a Rust-based programming language that was independently developed by Meta Dime blockchain engineers. So it was independently developed by some Meta engineers, which is very, very interesting. And as it says here on CoinMarketCap, Aptos's vision is a blockchain that brings mainstream adoption to Web3 and empowers an ecosystem of dApps to solve real-world use problems. So far, nothing, I mean, I'm not a technical guy. I don't know how to program and all that stuff, but so far everything they said here is kinda could be grouped in with a couple of L1s. It's the standard L1, and we're gonna keep going through it. Obviously, there's technical, you know, technically different things, but overall, the way they're marketing it, it's kind of just the same. It seems like sort of the same as every other L1. That's just my take. As it says here, the proof of stake blockchain can achieve a theoretical transaction a throughput of over 150,000 transactions per second, which is cool. But once again, every single L1 blockchain ever talks about how many transactions they can do per second. At this point, nobody gives a shit. Okay. It was cool back in 2021. Nobody really cares anymore. And as it says here, this is where things get interesting though. In March of 2022, Aptos raised 200 million Dollars in a seed round led by venture venture capitalist Anderson Horowitz, A16Z. Other crypto heavyweights like Tiger Global and Multicoin Capital took part in the funding round. Fast forward to July, the startup raised another $150 million in a Series A round led by Sam Bankman Fried, FTX, Ventures, and Jump Crypto. And of course, a lot of that money went down the drain. And as it says here, two months later, Binance Labs made a strategic investment of an undisclosed amount in Aptos, bringing its valuation to $4 billion in September. And that's very interesting. Binance Labs made a undisclosed amount. Yeah, these guys, Aptos, they have literally like unlimited funding. They have a ridiculous amount of money. And that's one thing you have to keep in note. Because you need money in order to keep the shit moving forward. Now let's take a look at the price action. So today it's just down 2%. On the week, it's up almost 3%. On the month, it's up almost 36%. And on the year, it's up... Um, on a year, it's up almost a percent. So this coin was actually launched. The coin was actually launched, as you can see here by my trading view, back in October of 2022. And it initially dumped into December of 2022. Then at the beginning of 2023, we saw a massive spike from about, it went from about a buck or so. three. It went from around 3 to $4. And it spiked all the way up to around 20 bucks. And then slowly... It's continued to grind lower and lower and lower in 2023. And now, since Bitcoin's pumped, it's made its first move up, which is very nice to see. And as you can see here, it's the 34th uh, biggest cryptocurrency with a market cap. It's coming in on $2 billion of a market cap. And here's their Twitter page. So let's take a look at their, some of their marketing. We're going to go on their website in a second. This is their Twitter page. They have all over 400,000 followers. And as it says here, Aptos is the layer one blockchain engineered to evolve, built with move to create a home where developers to build future proof of apps efficiently and enjoyably. And in the beginning of this video, I kind of talked about it, but I wonder if how big the whole L1 narrative will be in crypto next cycle. That was the L1's worthy narrative in the 2021 bull run. It was pretty much, if you said you were an L1, people were just throwing money at you, which was very, very interesting. Um, obviously L1s are still always going to be important. I do think there is going to be, you know, still a lot of, a lot of opportunities for projects like Aptos, Sui, et cetera, to come up in the L1 game, but I'm not sure how hot it will be. Like it was in 2021 where it was just like, Oh, you're now one. I'm going to throw money at you. But once again, these guys have tons of money. Anyways, let's go to their website. So right on the website, it says Aptos is the blockchain network with everything you need to build your big idea. Let's move. Now let's take a look what they're doing. So we're going to go over like how deep in the trenches they are, et cetera. So events, upcoming events. So we can see they're doing events, which is good. They're doing hackathons in Singapore, Holland, Seoul. And this is very good because you want to see actual activity with real human beings going on. 
and it's good to see them hustling, having events, getting the early community going. These are good signals. Now let's take a look at this. This is a grant program. So obviously the, as we went over before, the Aptus Foundation has tons of money and it's good that they have a grant program because in order to build the ecosystem out, have more people market it, et cetera, you know, you need a grant program to make that happen. Now let's take a look at this. We're gonna go over some of the ecosystem projects. Um, I'm just gonna do a broad overview, uh, DeFi. So there's a bunch of DeFi projects. There's NFT tooling, just your standard. There's some gaming, which is very interesting. There's wallets, tooling, stable coins, security, marketplaces, launch pads, infrastructure, explorers, bridges, social media. Now I picked three, three out of this. I picked two DeFi in one video game and I kind of just picked them out randomly. Um, so we're just gonna look at, this is my first take at these three applications. Let's see what we got. Should be the, you know, Cream of the crop for Aptos. So right here, it says Aptos staking, simple and secure to earn, Aptos staking rewards. So this is pretty cool. As you can see, they have this app. This app is called Amnis Finance. They have over $15 million locked, over 3,000 stakers, and they have over 2 million Aptos staked. So I think this is pretty cool. As it says, how Amnis Finance works, stake, earn, use DeFi, and you can receive liquid stake a, a Aptos and earn over 7%. APR and take a look at this. What is the expected return? So let's just say you staked 1000 Aptos. The estimated APR is 7.44%. Estimated earnings is 1000 plus percent Aptos. Future value 2000 Aptos. So I think this is really cool. And we can change this to 10,000. Let's make it 100,000 or maybe even like 100. So this is really cool. And I actually really like this website. I love how they have this right here. So it shows you your expected return. So when you put the shit in, you actually know what you're getting out. It seems like a very clean, clean website. Uh, let's take a look at their actual app. Very, very clean, I like this. It's really nice, um, but I expect that. I mean, when you have this much money and a lot of money in the ecosystem, I expect the apps to kind of be clean. So let's now take a look at our next application from Aptos DeFi, we have Merkle Trade. Level up your trading. The first ever gamified perp decks. Trade, level up, and unlock instant rewards. And this is pretty cool as it says gamified trading, exceptional trading experience, Let's try this. So let's take a look at this interface. And this right now is giving me big Robin Hood vibes. This looks very simple. I like it a lot. I like how it's glowing. I like the colors. And the best part about this is how there's not too much going on. I feel like a lot of these, you know, trading application DEXs, they make it super, super complicated when you go when you go on the interface where it's just so much fucking going on and it's really annoying so i really like this application i like the um the interface at least and i think it's pretty cool they also have an earn section so you can earn there and now let's take a look at this aptus arena so this is just a game i picked out i'm i've you know made my position clear with web3 gaming i'm not too bullish on it i don't think taking a shitty game slapping on a blockchain adding some nfts in it makes it a good video game i think the game actually needs to be good first in order to be a good game but maybe this is a good game it's called aptos arena and it says we can play the beta now so let's see during made with unity let's see if we can run it up right now live all right let's see it's gonna load oh shoot we got it to go So, okay, this is, um, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm clicking off that. So I didn't even really get a chance to play the game. Big problem with that game right there. Guys, whoever's running that, um, I'm not sure if this was made by the foundation or whatever, but you got to be able to log in with other wallets besides freaking the Petra wallet. You, you got to add MetaMask. And on top of that, you shouldn't even have to be required to use a wallet. You should be able to sign in with fucking Google. Because if you want your game to actually scale, then you need as many users as possible. And nobody, not many people have a Petra wallet. Let's say someone's coming over from Ethereum. Bro, they don't have a Petra wallet. They have a MetaMask probably. So you should probably add MetaMask so you can get some Ethereum users. And think about people who aren't even in the crypto. They don't have any of this shit. So you should be able to sign in with Google. 
But overall, I think Aptos is going to do a lot. And as I talked about here, I kind of clickbaited, obviously, the thumbnail and the intro, talking about Mark Zuckerberg's, you know, little bit of clickbait. But it is true. They do have, you know, some association, a lot of former employees. Let's talk about, wait, I need to go over this before um, we end this fucking video. Um, where is it? We go to the about section. I forgot to go over this. Who are the founders of Aptos? So Aptos is a brainchild of Mo Jakai and Avery Ching, both former employees of Meta. Mo, who is the current CEO of the company, is a founder with years of multinational financial services and blockchain crypto experience. Ching, on the other hand, is the CTO of Aptos. He's a software engineer. is one of the principal software engineers at Meta. The duo worked together on the DM blockchain project at Meta. And then they joined forces to create Aptos Labs when the DM project was discontinued in January 2022. So they obviously are in cahoots with Meta, and that's really big because Meta controls a lot of stuff. They control Facebook, Instagram, I think LinkedIn too. They have a lot going on there at Meta and a lot of money as well. And these guys, as we know, they raised a ton of money. They have Binance backing them. They have, you know, A16Z backing them. They have big backers, big money, experience. I'm personally, you know, pretty bullish. I think Aptos price-wise, not financial advice, obviously. And I don't own any. I used to own some, but I honestly, I sold it for Sol. Um, <laughs> it was, you know, a good trade though. Uh, I think Sol is going to do very well. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up any Aptos in the future. I may, but I do think it's definitely going to run. I think this project will do good. And I think we're going to be looking at a hockey stick chart right here. I'm, you know, it's a good thing they launched during the bear market. You want to launch during the bear. If you're going to do a token, you know, you want to launch during the bear market so you get that hockey sick chart because it's obviously going to continue. It's going to launch, going to go down in the bear market, and then it's going to hockey stick up in the bull. And that's what I think the Aptos chart's going to look like. I'm bullish, not financial advice. Make sure to do your own research, guys. And yeah, guys, that's all we got for today's video. Make sure to go follow me on Twitter and join my private Telegram group. If you've made it this far, go join it. Also, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching.